Saints, and we are at venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. It's a rivalry that dates back to 1921. The Packers and Bears are underway from Chicago. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Come on, baby. Let's go. Green 19. Right there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. It's a pick up of six, brings up second and four at the 31-yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Check, 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 check. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to, but they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Got a man, that's Allison. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. <laughs> From the 32 now. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 15-yard line. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in, with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. Well, you, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Mike. Here we go, here we go. Flip again. 
They'll run it with Williams. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. A loss of two there. Second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Williams will try again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four-down territory? Might he go for it? They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Throwing is Rodgers. And he's got the connection to the tight end, Graham. Touchdown, Packers. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Crosby with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. For the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 27. Out of the gun, Trubisky. It's complete to Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards into Chicago, first down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. 
Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get up field and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, the offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Trubisky. That's complete to the tight end, Broniker. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Draw play here. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the shotgun is Trubisky. That's complete to Robinson. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen that allows your blitzers to get there this is caught by robinson a fourth down no problem 19 yards that time but now it's first and 10 brand i have one word for you after that completion for a first down lucky Analytics. <laughs> well, the analytics say you punt the football there. <laughs> so we're changing the analytics as we go, right? What a big-time play for them. And really took a big-time chance. Yeah, big-time first-half chance. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On second and nine, Trubisky. Robinson's got it. 
And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Problems on third downs. So far in this first half, relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The decision to go for it on fourth has worked out twice on this drive already. Here we go again on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumbled snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw again, Rodgers setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Well, that second down completion, something of a disaster, and now they're left with third and long. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Now, 
Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds and it'll be marked inside the 40. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Single, 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 single. Final play of the half. It's Trubisky. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is... Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. The safety, Adrian Amos, comes crashing in for the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Trubisky will throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Zadarius Smith, he's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Here's Trubisky going for the deep ball. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It was Darnell Savage that time who was able to knock it away. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. Let's take it inside his own 40. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. First down, Rodgers. 
He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he fires one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. To throw on second and ten. Trubisky. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. On third down, Trubisky. Finding Gabriel complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Stepping aside from this game for a second, how about us being in week 10 of the NFL season right now? That makes me want to resurface that MVP talk we had earlier in the year. Who do you have right now leading in the MVP race? Is this quarterback's edition only, or can we actually bring other people? No, no, we, yeah, go wherever. Because the league does tell you that MVP can be anyone, but numbers show us. It's really going to be a quarterback. So let's just start there, right? Russell Wilson in Seattle. I, I think he has to be a prime guy. I think you have to look at Tom Brady. All right? It's always Tom Brady. Patrick Mahomes, if he can get back into the lineup and be his usual self, he could get into this race again and maybe defend his crown. And Aaron Rodgers from Green Bay has really come on in recent weeks despite a stumble against the Chargers this past week. But how about Lamar Jackson? I mean, what he's doing with Baltimore and their win over New England... You've got to have him as a prime candidate, and you know how much I love Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, he's in special one, isn't he? Oh, he is absolutely special because he does it all. And if they weren't risking injury, he'd run back kicks, too. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now it's Trubisky. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. Touchdown, Chicago! Ben Bronecker, 35 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Second and nine at the 26-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. 
Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And his throw is incomplete. Adam Shaheen was the intended target. And now it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. On second down, it's Montgomery. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Bears on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. Here's Trubisky to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. On the draw, this is Cohen. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now Trubisky. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown Bears. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights. And that makes the score 14 to 7.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken short. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Being chased out left. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, he's got the first down here inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 24. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 24-yard line. And the Packer first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's got the first down inside the 10. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And two big plays, one after the other. Now all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. From back at the eight now after the false start. Another try at first and goal. Back to throw. Now he's got it. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. At the one yard line. They come out here in the eye. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Here's Jones, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones in the final minute as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And while it appears the heavy lifting 
was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Now Crosby for the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense they need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation from the 40 it's a 57 yard field goal so that gets your gauge and all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock if they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game and they'll have to be careful how they handle this And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Throwing again on second and ten. Trubisky. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game. You don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. 
Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And that's complete to Adams. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Rodgers now, 13 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. Looking, and this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.